think of the worst way that I've ever acted whilst drunk on stage and multiply it by 10. I got up there and I said, I don't know how any of you guys gave speeches up here. I'm so nervous. And everyone's like, Mm -hmm. My name is Woody. That is Greg Gorey. Good morning, Woody. Menace is here. What is up, Woody? There's uh, Sammy. Good morning. We got Seabass back in the saddle. Lucky everyone. Yep. Gina Grad, who's been doing a great job filling in for Seabass. Phones are open, 877-44-WOODY. Hit us up with a text over to 22987. Dude, the sad story. Slash, you know, from Guns N' Roses. Mm-hmm. His stepdaughter, Lucy Blue, has died. It happened last Friday. Uh, But three hours after her death, this is what's weird, um, there was a selfie that showed up on our social media, a scheduled post, sad and haunting. It said, quote, whether I made you feel excluded, manipulated, controlled, um, told you to quit your day job from the comfort of being financially supported by my parents, or drown real issues in toxic positivity, I'm sorry. Countless missed opportunities and connections due to a disgustingly big ego, insecure heart, and fear of feeling and being vulnerable. May my soul learn to evolve from my poor job at being Lucy Blue. Peace. Ew, wow. Right? Dark. Was yeah. that scheduled on purpose? Uh, yeah, I think Sounds so. Like yeah. That. The LA Med- Medical Examiner's Office says that her autopsy has been uh, is scheduled. I mean, but nobody just dies at 25. Wow. Yeah. That's really sad. Yeah. Whenever, you know, or I, you know, pass an accident or whatever, it's one of those things people go, well, you know, you got to live for today because yeah. you just never know. Live, mm-hmm. live, not, you got to be aware of the future and not totally. Yeah. Greg's been a big YOLO guy lately. Hell lately. Yeah, bro. Lately, yeah. I know, right? You know, but it doesn't mean Pound. that you just spend every do- dollar that you have. You don't plan for the future, but you just got to mm-hmm. be aware of, you know, um, don't live right. now, live for tomorrow. <laughs> like Tim McGraw says, <laughs> yeah. right. live like you were dying. Well, yeah. I think the reason I'm so YOLO lately is I found out that yet another, let's cu- say kid from my class in high school died. Kid? Yeah, well, he was a grown man now. That'd be but someone I mean, who's huh? currently in that school that no, you went to. No, no, to. no. <laughs> okay. Anybody somebody, went to school with you? A classmate. No, somebody in my class <laughs> Yeah, yeah, died. no, I know what you mean. I and know. considering yeah. my graduating Correct. class was only uh, 202 people. And right. I think there's about, there's over 10 that have already died. Yeah. I want to say like 12, some car accidents, some heart problems, whatever the case. A lot so of health issues. And when I heard about that, I made it a concerted effort to get more YOLO, you know? Yeah. Because I've always been so obsessed about the future and, you know, being overly cautious and overly thrifty and overly that. And I thought, you know what? I, I kind of want to just, when I die, I don't want to have leave my f- fortune behind. Yeah. Not that I have a fortune, but I don't want to leave what I have behind. You know, I, I want to use what I have and enjoy what I have. Yeah. You get those reminders every once in a while. It's good perspective to have. It is. It fades, unfortunately, because you get into that mode and then you kind of get out of that mode. Yeah. But I'm hoping this will last a while longer. I had a thought recently about, you know, because as my kids are getting older and my son's going into high school and things mm-hmm. like that. The natural, uh, just evolution, not evolution, but the natural timeline of things, you know, uh, my parents, their grandparents died. And so therefore it was then their parents and then their parents are gone. And then next is you like, that's a trip. Yeah, I know. Next you know? in line. And I'm very, I'm very fortunate. Both my parents are alive. I haven't, yep. I haven't, I haven't experienced, uh, that yet. Um, but uh, yeah, that because then it's like you're up. I know my dad kind of struggled for a, a little while with that mm-hmm. that idea. I'm like, dude, now you're in the waiting room. Yeah, I you're know. on the chopping block. Yeah, so weird. So yeah, dude, you know, YOLO, YOLO, YOLO. But like so, you said, don't be reckless about it. But no, are you yeah, no, no. Reckless? Yeah, how are you YOLOing, Greg? Yeah, yeah. Um, like I'm, I'm not th- overthinking at stuff that I buy. I'm not overthinking. Oh, what about tomorrow? It's a little You're bit You're not late. irresponsible. Yeah, I'm not being reckless by any means. But just but, not being as but, like, you know, that's such a miser like he was before. <laughs> uh, not not <laughs> being overly worried about stuff. Yeah. I'm trying. It's a it's a work. It's a journey. It's hard. Can I see, but, what, what do you guys think, uh, just speaking of high school, because uh, some mm-hmm. friends of ours, the husband, had to go to his wife's like 20-year high school reunion this past weekend. Oh, cool. And sent me a picture. Mm-hmm. Looked awful. 
<laughs> and, and, and he was like, oh, well, you've my always God. been anti. Yeah, you're anti. Yeah, because well, I'm, out, I'm putting it now, so I'm, I'm putting yeah. this out to the room. Mm -hmm. uh, I went to my tenure, had a blast. It was so much fun. Like, but has up it, with everybody. has it kind of been like the magic of a reunion? Has that been lost because of social media? Everybody knows what everybody looks like and what's going on in their lives. I, I guess the surprise of what people look like currently, I guess that is gone, but yeah. it's a uh, meeting up with people in person was super fun. Because you're not just going to have those conversations through social media. And was it awkward? Like, did people walk up and just have conversations with somebody? No. You, you... I, well, I did think it was awkward awkward because of social media. Because you're like, oh, I didn't even realize that person was even paying attention to right. what I was posting online. And so they would bring up things that happened in your life. And then you got to discuss them. So that was super fun. I missed my, my 20 year. Uh, I was in Amsterdam. And luckily... That same night that it was happening, some friends that I went to high school with that I graduated with were in Amsterdam at the same time. So we kind of had our own like little mini reunion that night and we got wasted. Nice. We, we pretty much just drank the whole mini <laughs> yeah, bar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even have to ask Sammy. I know she's probably all in on the high school reunion stuff. Uh, I yeah. would love to that be. That was the glory <laughs> yes. days of her life. Yes, yeah. except yeah. for our 10-year reunion was a huge fail that didn't end up happening because we didn't realize that who we nominated as our president, who would then be in charge of the reunion, was Mormon, and then our reunion was volunteering community service. Uh, what? And, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that was... Sucks. Oh, no. We Next all level lame. got <laughs> contacted about doing community service <laughs> for our reunion. Yeah. And then it just didn't happen. Yeah, the key is you got to get somebody that's kind of cool and kind of responsible at the same time. You know, you can't get like the jock who's like doesn't even know how to basically write down his own name because he's not going to know how to coordinate. Yeah, a there's reunion. a lot of details. because yeah, be him two, and his friends. There's two people that are nominated to you know keep it going and put them together every year, and it's your class president and then like the treasurer that keeps. Uh, you know that yeah. handles the money because you do have to pay to help put it on right you got to pay to go to your high school oh, reunion yeah, yeah. you yeah. do yeah they can't just oh, I didn't know that. rent yeah, you have to buy a ticket my yeah. most yeah. recent one i guess I that's was true a, i didn't even think about that a person really? yeah because uh, you get a space I mean, it makes sense i just i just didn't think mm -hmm. about it yeah you get yeah. like a See, couple drinks you guys are snacks you guys are doing it all wrong my reunion so every every whatever the reunion time may or whatever the hell it is they you know they will do it on campus so um, like the five years oh, will be can... over in this area and the 10 years will be in this area. Okay. Oh, like so yeah. It's a money saver. Right. It's a money saver. Mine it's was at a, a hotel. big organizational saver. What well, no, you're yeah. graduating, how many people were in your class roughly? Uh, like 105-ish were in my class, graduated okay. in 08. 08. So... When did you graduate, <laughs> Menace? <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're yeah, right. No one's, bu no one's, no yeah. one's <laughs> buying that. But how like, many in my class? Yeah. Uh, I think there was about 400 something. Four hundred. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, what year did you graduate? Uh, ninety-eight. Ninety-eight. I what, could see what, it being what, a problem. But what year did you really graduate? Same as Menace. Yeah, we didn't have a five-year though. Only ten years. Yeah, we didn't either. Yeah, I could see it. Like if it, if it were a big school where there's thousands of kids, I could see that being a problem. But for our, we have a large campus. Yeah. yeah. And you know, only a couple, you know, hundred something people per class. So right. that makes it's easier to do it all. Now, yeah. You went. Mm -hmm. I went to the five-year. Yeah. That's surprising. I wouldn't. I wouldn't uh, see you as a guy going to the reunion well, because it, people are still hot. You people know are still <laughs> hot in my old male high school. <laughs> yeah, uh, but also my early twenty. Yeah, my high hot. school was three blocks from my house. Oh, so, easy peasy. Yeah, that's no reason. I mean, it's not like a big deal to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I just. Uh, I don't get the people that are so anti. Well, just, like, I'm anti for exactly. my own reasons. Obviously, I went to a different high school, mostly boarding schools. Uh, throughout high school, I spent my freshman year at a public high school in New Jersey, sophomore year at a boarding school in Oregon, junior year at another boarding school in Alabama, and then my senior year at a public school in Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah. if I were you, I, mean, right, I wouldn't so have so yeah. rare. Either. Like the percentage has no, to be I like know. point, point, but point, point. But that's the reason that I'm not. Yeah. And by the way, I did watch... Um, that other documentary series that you told me about, Teen Torture Inc., I think yeah. it's called, with um, where they had that bad baby chick in there, mm -hmm. the turnabout ranch that she went to, and then uh, Paris Hilton was in there. Yeah, you know, those are the kind of places that I was in. Yeah, so no, other than those no two public schools. Yeah, so it's like, dude, they should no have reunions. You. Oh, <laughs> no, sure thanks. They would love it. Yeah, no thanks. So that's, yeah. I mean, obviously you can see why I wouldn't mm -hmm. be. But even when Facebook started. 
It did, like Mena said, it killed the whole excitement of seeing what people look like. Yeah. But but, uh, but it, it's totally different in person. But yeah. I, have, I don't even have curiosity. Before I got into that, you know, hell situation with the, the boarding school stuff, from kindergarten through my freshman year, I was with all the same kids. I don't have any interest in them whatsoever, unless they're the people that I already kept in touch with. Not even Melissa Horowitz? Yeah. But I, I kept know. in touch with her. Nice. And my friend Joe, there's just a couple people that I kept in touch with, but everybody else, like, I don't care to rekindle that part. I'm sure there's people that you forgot about, though. There's plenty of people that Probably sometimes for good randomly reason. come up and you're like, oh, I forgot about them. That happens, but if you were at a reunion, uh-huh. you'd be like, oh, hey. No, that happens at the reunion where I, hey, Greg, I'm uh, uh yeah. hey, who are you, dude? What up? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> What's up, bro? Oh, so you like not I, just oh, I, out yeah. of your memory, but even being face to face with them, you didn't remember who don't they remember were. Nothing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So you don't prep by looking oh. through your book. And, and, uh-huh. <laughs> no. And uh, here's here's something else I agree because I I view high school reunions this way. It's a gathering of people that peaked in high school, like because the people that were most interested in going back for the high school reunions. I, I would see more of a college reunion being a thing because you chose what school to go to. You chose, you know, whatever. High school is kind of like, not prison, but like your elementary school. High school, yeah, it's mandatory. You have to be yeah. there. It's based on where you live. You're stuck with these people. I there think, was no choice. Wow. No, I think that there was no sad choice. That you feel I, that way. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking, out loud. I'm thinking out. out loud. I'm thinking out loud. I think I that's an easy saying. out for people to say Agreed, menace. when <laughs> that didn't have a good experience in high school. So they're like, oh yeah. No, but the, I, I kind of feel yeah. like you know, like the yeah. but the whole thing about these are all the mm. pe- the people who'd be most excited about a high school were two mm. uh, two groups of people. One, the I peaked in high school people, or two, the people who were losers in high school who now have made themselves into a success. Right. And they can go back. Tech and, billionaire shows up with like hot in, life. Like, yeah, like, <laughs> like in your face. It rolls yeah. up in a Bentley. In well, your face to all those with, people with, with who Menace were I, peaked in high school. With yeah. Menace and I, it's neither of those things. It's yeah. like, hey, we went our separate ways. We all, you know, went to college, different places, did a different things. And it'd be yeah. interesting just to see what you're up to. Yeah. Yeah. What just, just curious. Yeah. Yeah. I could it, see, I could see, uh, see bad. I'm sorry. I could see Menace going to these things. I'm really surprised that Sea Bass would go. I would. Just doesn't seem like, you know, something he would do. Yeah. I mean, they, I was because yeah. because we I didn't go to the same school as anybody I went to high school with. Right. Mm-hmm. What, no one went to my you know even the same city, so I just lost track of people. Yeah. So it's it just intro. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you know, guys play I, football with. And I've stuff. mentioned this before a bunch of times, but my whole high school class there is a Facebook group that we're part of, and then we update it all the time. Yeah. We have yeah. that same group. Yeah. But there's people like you That's, said. There's people in that group. I'm like I don't remember yeah. this person <laughs> at all. Who is this person? <laughs> That's how I learned one of my classmates died. Was on that special page. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. This is the Woody Show. We were talking high school reunions mm-hmm. before the break. Um, everybody seems to be, for the most part, at least interested in the idea. Maybe not fully on board. Like looking at the uh, the text and, and stuff. Somebody said I live in such a small community that no one ever leaves. So it's like a class reunion every time I go to the store. <laughs> So a nod dog for me on reunions. Oh, yeah. yeah, another there's nay. No need. Here's another nay. We heard so many yays. I was getting a couple of nays. Uh, high school for me was very traumatic, and the majority of people were just complete a holes. Why would I want to go back and give them a moment of my time? Yeah, really. Yeah, jerks. I mean, that yeah. was that was the that was the experience for a lot really, of people for really different stick reasons. Stick it into them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I understand. Like, why? Like, why do you want to go back and hang out with those people, out with people who people just that, were terrible to well, you? Yeah, if you yeah, didn't have friends, people. obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly. You don't want to read it with them. Yeah. Now, one thing that uh, has come up in the past, and I considered going, where there were reunions from, you know, like a group of people we all worked at the same place, like a station yeah. at yeah. a given time. And, like, uh, there were a couple places that I've worked where, man, that was like a really fun group of people. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh yeah, what, like yeah, I wonder what they're up to. Like now. a work mm-hmm. reunion. Yeah, yeah it was fun. like it was like one station. It was like one snapshot of time. Yeah, you know right. anybody that was at the station from you know, two thousand and four until two thousand and ten, we're getting together at this place, mm-hmm. and you know we're just gonna have some drinks, super casual, just meet up at a bar. And you did or did not go? No, I didn't go because oh. that would have meant traveling and stuff. Yeah, um, didn't uh, didn't want to do that. My most recent reunion. <laughs> was quite disastrous and it was totally my fault. Um, the reunion went off without a hitch, but I've never told you guys this, but I, I, I really like to drink. What? Yeah. What? Greg. And, and I happened to go to my reunion. It was Mario's birthday. 
what a trooper to go to a somebody's high school reunion that you weren't even part yeah, to of. To me, that's the yeah. boring part. On his birthday. Yeah, and I felt kind of guilty about that. Like, oh, sorry, we're going to spend your birthday at my high school reunion. I proceed to get wasted. And <laughs> somebody came up to me and said, you know what you should do is get up on stage and wish him a happy birthday on the mic. And <laughs> That's th so weird. This is after all these people gave speeches, like the class president gave a speech and, and we, whatnot. And we've all heard Drunk Greg on the mic. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> and think of the worst way that I've ever acted whilst drunk on stage and multiply it by 10. I got yeah, up yeah. there and I said, oh, I don't know how any of you guys gave speeches up here. I'm so nervous. And everyone's like, mm -hmm. what? Oh, here, what? you wanna hear uh, yeah, Greg's drunk no. stage no. announcement no. at Medicine's no, 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 birthday no, no, bash? No, 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 oh, no, no, no. No. What up? <laughs> Keep going, Scott. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what? <laughs> <laughs> this is like point one? What do you want me to do? Oh, <laughs> uh, what, uh, this is three, I think. I don't, f I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Scotty, keep going. Oh, just <laughs> oh you guys are beautiful. Wow. Oh, you're just oh, you're nice. Oh, well spoken. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so Mario, that's your so, birthday, huh? So yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm saying how nervous I am to talk in front of people, and I'm trying to wish him a happy birthday. And then after I give the speech about Mario's birthday, which was made that look good. Did you mention his age too? Because there's a little bit of a gap. <laughs> I know, right? I probably did. I probably did. Oh, no. And then I get off the stage and a little while later, this girl that I went to school with, <laughs> her name's Karen. Uh -huh. yeah. I see that she's totally crying. And uh -huh. I went up to somebody and said, what happened to Karen? <laughs> see, that's what you think that's hot? Yeah. And, Were you uh, the one that said you think it's hot when chicks cry? Uh, for stupid reasons, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, right. she was crying, and I, I found out why she was crying is because uh. I had gotten up on stage to wish my partner, Mario, a happy birthday. She knew I was divorced, but didn't know I was living my true life as a yeah. gay American, right? So she said you're gay. <laughs> so she, and so my other friend, Natalie, she said she always had a crush on you. I said, Aww. oh, I didn't know that. And she just realized because you gave the speech to Mario that you're gay, and she was crying. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what That was her dream to That is funny. And that is funny. And then we hilarious. had an after party at the hotel, and <laughs> I was, again, quite inebriated. Huh. And we all. <laughs> Group of us had to use the bathroom, and I went in. I'm at the urinal, and I couldn't even stand up. So I put, like leaned forward, and I went boom with my head on the wall. And that's why I stayed in a standing position by using my head against the wall. <laughs> yes, that's like it Woody was in the so <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah, YOLO. And then I finally go back to my parents' place because the school obviously is in their neighborhood. I stayed at their house, and I go to get into bed. And I missed the bed and landed on the floor and Love woke it. up my parents. What the hell was that noise? Yeah, I, I fell on the floor. Mario was mortified. I And I've never forgiven myself. And I'm going to oh. skip the next one because I'm so embarrassed. No, you should oh, totally go back. I, no, no, redemption. Cares. Absolutely yeah. mortifying. You're good. What up? No. <laughs> Keep going, Scott. Wait, what, what, what? What, what, what? Class of 1962. Yeah. How about uh, drunk Greg and his message... For Menace, his oh, birthday oh, wish for Menace. Yeah, Menace. Nice birthday wish. If I had one wish for you, it would be stop saying that's what I've been saying. You're like, oh, when it comes to socks, buy low, sell high. No, shit, you mother. F wow. That's what everybody's been saying. Great oh, birthday wish. That's a good TV show, <laughs> yeah. and it's on Amazon. That's what I've been saying. Yeah, no, f you mother. F Wow! <laughs> Everybody's Jeez. been saying that. So stop saying that's what I've been saying, or I will f kill myself. Wow! Jeez. Right. Can you feel happy the, birthday? I know. To can me. you can you feel the love? <laughs> yeah! Wow! Good God! Jeez. Yeah! Right, well, we're here yeah. with Greg Gorey. Oh, Good no. morning, yeah. Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. thoughts that you'd like to share with anybody that you wouldn't normally sober? That I wouldn't normally share? I don't give a. F I don't give a. F I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't I don't give a f I don't give a f I don't give a f I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't give a f How many drinks have you had this evening? Like 472. <laughs> 472. <laughs> <laughs> you. I don't give a f I don't give a f I don't I don't I don't I don't, I don't, I don't give Greg a is a star. I don't give a f I don't give a f I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> What's the matter, Greg? Yeah. Yeah, uh, my penis, you and I, my, my penis, my penis is at an 11. Yeah. <laughs> I'll never, 
I, ironically, I remember that night because I, yeah. I, like I told you, I'd still be there because. But you helped. You carried oh, me up the stairs. I, I rescued Greg. <laughs> and carried. And I told you we were on the phone a couple days ago, and we were talking about contentment. Yeah. It's uh, consider all my contentment gone now after oh, hearing man. that. Oh, Greg, that so embarrassed. What happened? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, let's go. It's gone. <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Idiot. The Woody Show. All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey. People love drunk Greg. No, they don't. It's they, lit. they do. No, everybody said don't ever play that stuff no. again. That says, Greg, I'm in tears right now. I love you so much. That is hilarious. Oh. Greg, you're fine. It's not like you had to text an apology because you embarrassed the wife at the previous night's dinner. Uh-huh. Drunk yeah. Greg is awesome. Nope. Yep. Keep it going. Yeah, it's like, uh, no. Greg, you just got to live your life. Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. But you think I would learn from <laughs> all my experiences to not act like that? Yeah, but you don't fine. have. That's the thing. You're like I don't understand. Uh, it's just, it's very embarrassing. It's yeah. celebrated. Yeah, you're not having look, fun. Yeah, no one's. I mean, I'm giving you very, crap about it. Very excited. You guys feel that way. Yeah, because yeah. it probably will happen again soon. Uh, yeah. Your little Good. your little message to Mana says, "Stop. That's what I've been saying." Yeah, that was not. Yeah, I'm not allowed to. That was you not know, loving. You can't say that I said something first. Okay. Well, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> You are one of two people, the kind that believes everyone is nice until they prove that they're a bad person, or the camp that I'm in, everyone sucks until proven otherwise. Which one are you? Huh. Text your answer over to 22987. I got some normal by the numbers. It's hard not to be cynical these days. I'm, I'm leaning, you have to prove that you're a good person. Yeah. Yeah. You're not assuming that they're like necessarily evil. No. But I'm not going into it assuming like you have uh, good intentions or... Right. That you're just a good person. It's very hard not to be cynical. Yeah, menace. I uh, yeah, I'm. I don't even know how to answer that question because I just think uh, people are people, and then eventually they'll show you who they are. Right, but going into it, which one are you? Uh, I'm not automatically thinking they're a bad person. No. Uh, sea bass. I'm actually positive. Now I will. Mm-hmm. I'm very quick to turn. <laughs> yeah. But I would say in general, I'm actually positive. All yeah, right, I Sammy. Think, I think I can figure out who somebody is pretty quickly, though. Uh, I think I'm positive, but I don't really trust them necessarily. I don't think they're bad people, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to trust them right away. Yeah, again, I'm not saying that they're evil. I'm right. kind of very neutral. I don't know. It, the question just seems pretty extreme. Like they suck. That's true. <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, this is this was the question they put it out to people. Normal by the number seventy percent. Think nice until proven otherwise. One person said, assuming people aren't nice leads to people actually becoming less nice. Another person said, neither until proven otherwise. And I go in with an open mind. Yeah. I don't think I go in with an open mind necessarily. Really? But I I, I don't. Yeah, I'm kind of. I am kind of in the middle. I'm with Minnesota. It is an extreme. The the choices are extreme. Yeah. 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 I don't don't think everybody's rotten, but. If you go out in public and you see people leaving their cards out or whatever, and well, being and, my, and my reasoning you behind think, it was wow, people suck. My reasoning behind it because I, I went through a time in my life where I got burned a lot and in pretty quick succession. Like where like the the trust that I had for people was man, it was just incinerated, mm. right? And so I was constantly disappointed in people, right? Yeah, people that I I didn't, you know, I I, I had respect for who I liked, and I ended up getting burned. And so I had this thing of, well, would you rather set yourself up to be constantly, like, pleasantly surprised? Just assume they suck. And when they turn, because I don't think most people suck. I think probably most people are good people. They're cool enough. Like, you can sit in there, you know, just be cordial and Mm -hmm. civil. But wouldn't you rather be constantly pleasantly surprised than constantly disappointed? I mean, you know, I guess preferably, but then you have to go into it with stinking thinking. Right. You know? Right. See, and that's what works. But do you, yeah, but do you want stinking thinking? <laughs> yeah. Are you looking to prove yourself right that they're not a good person? I mean, that's, no. it needs to be no. an open minded idea. Obviously, situation. I'm hoping people yeah. are cool. That's the, that's, you know, that's what I want. I want people to be cool. But that's kind of what I adopted for a while. I just assumed like everybody sucked and then, oh, you're pleasantly surprised. And you got to be more pleasantly surprised than disappointed when people turn out to be, you know, ish heads. So that's the reward, the pleasant yeah. surprise. I, I just don't get invested that much. Uh, what is it for you? Which camp are you in? Everyone's nice until they prove otherwise, or the everyone sucks until proven otherwise. Text over to two two nine eight seven. So what do you show? Be back. 